Hey guys, hi, Vinayak Ringan here and I'm going to be discussing and I'm going to be helping you with the journey through knee tessels general surgery. And uh, today I'm going to be discussing uh, what are the areas where you need to study the topics from, uh, what topics to read from which book. And this is going to be especially very relevant after the 20th edition of Bailey has been released. So the first topic is going to be basic principles of surgery. Basic principles of surgery, it's been pretty extensive in Bailey and Love. And I think that's basically the only book you need to read uh, the basic principles of surgery from. Uh, there have been a little bit of updates in sepsis, the latest sepsis guidelines, the international guidelines have come up and these are going to be covered in the video lectures in detail uh, by Dr. Praveen. And um, so that part can be taken care of by the video lectures. You don't need to read any specific book for that. Uh, other than that, shock is also a topic which I would kind of suggest that you have a look at Sabiston. It kind of helps you reinforce your concept. Uh, there has been a huge amount of emphasis on both pediatric surgery and cardiothoracic surgery and I would kind of suggest that Bailey and Love is absolutely essential. You need to read that from card to cover, page to page, line to line, especially pediatric surgery. But also reinforce your thinking of cardiothoracic surgery and pediatric surgery from Sabiston. Schwartz would be kind of an overkill. You don't need Schwartz, but uh, Sabiston is very essential. Perioperative care, Bailey and Love is super extensive, very well written and that's the only thing you need. For trauma, uh, Bailey and Love is the book for trauma. Uh, the updates have been covered very well in the uh, 20th edition. ATLS is our is essential and a lot of you would have undergone the ATLS course and I think that's more than enough for you to, you know, uh, have a basic idea of ATLS. So the clinical scenarios such as what would you do if a patient is in shock, has a, has a, a little bit of bleeding and all. You, you basically need to realize that the first thing you need to look at is the airway and that's basically the only thing you need to understand. So ATLS is essential. Other than that, Bailey and Love is pretty okay. Orthopedics is a tough topic and we're going to be covering these topics in our Bailey and Love 20th edition update series. I'm also going to be uh, making sure that we have an orthopedic surgeon who explains all the core concepts of orthopedics from Bailey and Love, not at a very extensive level, but at a general surgeon level from Bailey and Love in our general surgery video lectures. This is purely so that uh, you benefit from uh, a deeper understanding of orthopedics so that you don't miss any base while preparing for neatesis. Skin and head and neck, absolutely essential. Uh, we'll also be, you know, making sure that the oncology aspect is covered in a little more detail in our video lectures. All the updates are going to be covered in the Bailey and Love 20th edition updates. Just make sure that you read Bailey and Love cover to cover for both skin and head and neck and neurosurgery. Don't try to waste time trying to read it from Sabiston or Schwartz. The oncology aspect of uh, skin cancers, I'm just going to be, you know, making sure that a few points from MD Anderson, NCCM guidelines and Devita are added. And these are going to be covered in our video lecture series. Uh, so, CTS I've already spoken to you about. Vascular surgery, uh, Bailey and Love, the new edition is absolutely beautiful and it covers most updates very well. Um, however, arterial disease alone, not venous disease, not lymphatic, arterial disease alone, I would kind of uh, suggest that you have a look at Sabiston. This is only if you do have time. Abdominal surgery, this now is going to be a whole different ball game together. A hernia surgery, I believe that there's going to be a lot of emphasis in the next neat assess. Uh, the Bailey Love is okay. It doesn't give you too many uh, points, but I'm going to be making sure that we cover all the bases in hernia and AWR surgery in our video lectures. But the basic funda is that abdominal surgery, you should read Sabiston. There is no way you can score a top 100 rank in knee tests without reading Sabiston GI surgery. Absolutely essential. No compromise on that. And if you have to choose between Sabiston and Bailey Love, I would still say go ahead and choose uh, uh, Sabiston, but you know, use the 20th edition updates which are released. That is only so that uh, you don't miss any points uh, which have been you know mentioned as updates. Urology, Bailey and Love is an absolute beauty. Uh, the 20th edition is super. Uh, a lot of new points have been given. A lot of Indian authors have been a part of our urology uh, aspects of our um, mm -hmm. Bailey and Love 20th edition, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, just spend time reading Bailey and Love. If you know, want some Campbell updates, want some additional points, you know, just have a look at our video lectures. We are updating them according to our 20th edition. Transplant, if you'd asked me a few months ago, I would have said, you know, you'll have to read Sabiston. But right now, I would say Bailey and Love is absolutely wonderful. The chapters on liver transplant, very well written. Pancreas is, is again, very comprehensive. So I would say transplant, just stick to Bailey and Love. That's all you will have time for. Transplant immunology is again a very, very important chapter. If you read your 27th edition, there are a lot of beautiful points in about transplant immunology. So don't try to forget it. But uh, I think uh, that's it. So these are the overview of topics. 
I have kind of told you where to read each of it from. One topic which I have kind of missed and which I want to leave it for the last is endocrine surgery. Endocrine surgery is super essential, a very, very important part of general surgery. And the book to read it from, uh, read it is Schwartz. So you can't go into the exam uh, without reading uh, thyroid surgery and breast surgery from Schwartz. Absolutely essential. Please don't miss it. Uh, you will have to make sure that you read it from Schwartz. Again, the 20th edition Bailey and Love has a lot of updates um, with regard to breast surgery, especially. And I think those are uh, pretty important. Do attend our update session. And uh, for you know more information uh, regarding uh, points from Sabastan and Schwartz, do use the video lectures. And uh, a lot of you have been asking me, when are we going to update our MCQ Bank and the video lectures? The process already begin. So uh, from the 22nd of this month, 22nd, 23rd of this month, you will be seeing that at least 20 to 30 MCQs are updated on the app daily. And you know, the 20th edition updates are um, released as soon as possible. The uh, 20th edition video lectures have also started off. And I think uh, uh, we are going to have a great time preparing those lectures and making sure that uh, top-notch content is delivered and you know i think it's been a privilege to be a part of your neat assist journey and so if you have any doubts regarding your preparation uh don't hesitate to contact our helpline or you know you can leave it in the comments below and i'm going to be uh promising you that i'll be answering those questions personally thank you so much guys uh hope you have a very 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 great 2023 and uh wishing you all a very very happy new year and uh with the time i also wish you a very very happy pongal and a happy sankranti hope you have a great time reading and hope you meet all your goals and all your dreams. Thank you so much.